Hi. Welcome to our first class on introduction to Python. We'll be uh, seeing in this lecture how to use Python to represent different data types like numbers, strings, lists, dictionaries, conditionals, it's how to write if-else statements, how to write loops, like for loop, while loop, etc. So let's start with our first data type, simple numbers. So we have here uh, integers or floats, which are decimal numbers. Uh, how do we represent them? So any number uh, can be represented as a variable, like I call the variable A, I assign it a value 10, I call another variable B and assign it a value 6. Then now I want to print uh, the value of A, B or A plus B, A minus B, A multiplied with B, A divided by P in Python. How do I do that? So the response will be like this. A plus B is 16, A minus B 4, A into B 60, and A upon B, this is the 1.67. Next. Uh, now, how do we represent decimal numbers or floating point numbers? So these um, I call same way uh, variable A and I assign it a value with any decimal number 10.1. Similarly, another variable b, 6.4, and then I want to print their values, and what is the output? It is this, a plus b is 16.5, similarly a minus b, and a multiplied by b, and a divided by b. Now you can notice here that when I say a minus b, it looks like a simple value 3.7, but uh, because of the, uh, the way Python saves uh, decimal numbers, you get uh, 3.69999 which rounds off to 3.7 so this is something we have to be careful about uh, but generally it does not uh, you can ignore this part this does not cause any serious errors next is uh, how do I know which data type uh, it is so for example uh, I have a number a uh, a variable a which is assigned a value 2 I want to see what is the type data type so I can similar simply see data type is integer now let's say if I call it as 2.4 it is a data type float okay so this is what uh, were different kinds of numbers like uh, real numbers or integers now we come to the next uh, um, data type which is strings what are strings strings are simply words which are consisting of characters like banana it consists of six characters and shake uh, five characters now i can save them in different variables like i can assign a uh, this this value the string to the variable a and another string to variable b and then i want to concatenate the two strings what is the plus operator here it is a concatenation operation and you can concatenate and you can get banana shake okay now we can also add a space bar in between to make it banana space shake uh, so notice that this is a space bar uh, enclosed between two double quotes now if uh, in my previous example my c was banana space shake I want to access each character. Uh, let's say what is the character on the third place. So the indexing, I can index them. So indexing starts with 0, 0, 1, and 2. Let us see what is the value. B, A, N. So third character is, third character is an N. Similarly, I can try different things. I can try 0, which is the first character, B. And similarly, now notice if I make it too large, let's say 90, what will be the response? Oh, an error, that's what we expected. So 
an error says string index out of range. If I give the index too large, then it does not take into account that. Now, Python has a special uh, inbuilt feature, which is if I, if I want to uh, read from the back side, if I want to see what is the last character, I just put here minus one. So automatically it makes it as final length minus one, which means uh, uh, because the numbering starts from zero, so length minus one is the index of the last character. So in banana shake, that is a, an E. Okay. Now next, I, if, what if I want to get a substring of the whole thing? Uh, let's say I want to get all the characters which are between the uh, third and seventh uh, index. So this is what I get. B, A, R, uh, remove because 0 and 1 are not there. It's, the numbering starts from 2 and it goes on up till 7, not 8, because the 8 is the uh, final. Uh, so so whenever we see this, uh, this operator, uh, this uh, colon, it means that our counting will go starting from this index to this index minus 1. So that's why we get 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7. And the 8th one is not there. Next, how do I get the length of my whole uh, string? I got a string uh, which is banana shake. I want to see how many total characters are there. What is the length of the stri string? And this is 12. Uh, banana has 6, shake has 5, and we had a space bar in between which makes it 5 plus 6 plus 1 which is 12 total. Now we come to the next data type which is a list. When is it important? When, when do we use lists? For example, I want to uh, save a group of uh, many items. Uh, let's say I have many strings, banana, milk, carrots, and I want to put them all together <coughs> and I want to save them together as a data type, then I can use lists. So let us in this example, we'll create a shopping list. I'm, I want to save all the items which I want to get. All these strings are saved, milk, banana, and carrots. How do I do that? I create a variable A and assign it a list. This is how we define a list in the square brackets. And then we put all the strings within this square brackets, uh, separated by a comma. <clears throat> and then I want to print what is A? A is banana, milk, carrot. What is the length of A? Now length of A will be the total number of elements inside this list, which is three. Okay, now indexing. What is the third item? We have seen this. Uh, so to get the third item, I will write here A2 because the index, because the numbering starts with zero, zero, one, two, that's the third item. And I get carrot, that's what we expected. Next, uh, okay, now I want to alter something. I want to change uh, an element of the list. How do I do that? I want to change a carrot to a tomato. Uh, sim simply, I can assign A2, which was a carrot, and I can assign it tomato. Then the carrot is overwritten with tomato. That's what I get, milk, banana, and tomato. Concatenation. Now, I, I have got two lists. Uh, one list was my old one, apple, banana, and, sorry, uh, milk, banana, and tomato. And now my mother gave me another list, which is rice, sugar, and salt. Now, I have to concatenate the two lists and make a single list. How do I do that? So I have got rice, sugar, and salt. So I want to, simply this plus operator will do the job. So this will add uh, this to my A, which was uh, milk, uh, banana, and carrot. So this is how I run it. Milk, banana, I'm sorry, tomato, and then rice, sugar, and salt. They are concatenated. Uh, another thing to notice here is that this list is indexed, means the ordering is preserved. So it won't be jumbled up automatically it will be preserved. The ordering is preserved in the lists. 
another item okay now how do i add a single item i don't want to append to a list but i want to add a single item let's say apple to my list how do i do that so i create a another list uh, apple as a list with only a single entry and i concatenate it to the previous list and that's what i get all the six elements six items plus apple uh, the same is possible with numbers too. A list can hold any data types. This is very important. A list can hold any data type. So which means it may be numbers or strings, characters, or even more complex data types, which we'll be studying later. So this is an example. Uh, so this is a list with uh, mixed data types. We have numbers or integers in the beginning, and then an apple with the string. Similarly, here we have float, integer, a string, and then again a, an integer. Now, if I add the two, what will I get? Concatenation. I'll just show you the results. Uh, these two get concatenated. And if I want to indexing, I want to access the third element of the list A, that will be three. And if I want to modify some element, so just go to that index, and then replace it with the new thing what we want let's say five so three is replaced with five that is it so this was all about lists now we go to the next topic which is dictionaries the next data type is dictionaries now dictionaries a dictionary is a kind of a map from a key to a value key means the key which is uh, used to access certain value and the value is what the information is stored there so I, I milk is the input and I get one liter as the output when banana is the input I get 12 as the output so how do I do that let us see here so this is a map so a is a dictionary uh, so key value pair so the key is milk and the value is one liter banana is the key and 12 is the value carrot is the key five is the value so this is useful when I want to create a list and I also want to save how much of each quantity I want. If I, if milk is there, I want one liter, banana 12, 12 bananas, five carrots and I can print A. So my, this is my dictionary, which is printed here. And then I, I can print the length of A, which means total number of uh, key value pairs inside this dictionary. Next. Okay. So this is the main thing which we want to do. I want to ask what is the quantity of carrot so you just say print a carrot and here we go we get five now somebody may be tempted that okay carrot was my last uh, which means third element can I use print a2 no we cannot do print a2 because it will be an error because lists the ordering is not maintained if you remember in lists we had ordering maintained but in dictionaries sorry this is dictionary in a dictionary the ordering is not maintained so the only way you can access and the value is with the help of the key so a caret is five so and can i change modification can i change something yes so then please change it to eight how do i do that now you see a caret is assigned a value eight now if I print it, this is what I get, milk, banana, carrot. Next, can I add 1 kg apples? Fine, just add a apple is 1 kg. This is a new entry and if I print a now, you see milk, banana, carrot and also an apple. Okay, now if I want to see what all items are there in my list, uh, in my dictionary so I simply cannot print a because it will print both key and the value but I want to see only the keys then the keys so here we go um, so my keys are milk banana carrot and apple and if I say a dot values then I get all the values which are here conditionals now uh, if we want to uh, see some conditions okay if there is some number if this is less than zero do this if this is greater than zero do this or else do this and if we do this we say we see it is 
this this option is uh, executed because this number is it satisfies this condition so notice that after i write if there is a colon at the end there is a colon here there's a colon here so this is important uh, putting a colon there okay uh, okay so let's go to our previous example which was in the shopping list we add five bananas but you remember uh, in our shopping list there might be bananas before or there may not be any bananas so if you simply say uh, banana equal to five uh, then it will simply replace it with five so previous 12 are overwritten by five but you don't want to do that you want to add it which means if there were bananas before then add five to it if there were no bananas before in the dictionary then just make a new entry called banana and make the value as five so if banana is in a if this key is in a then you add five to the value of that key or else add a new entry to this dictionary and the value of that key that dictionary or the value the value is five for that key of the dictionary if i now print a this is what i get milk banana carrot previously i had bananas so this option was executed and five was added so that i get 12 plus five uh, so 17 bananas now coming to loops if we want to do one operation multiple times so for i in range five what is range range the output of this uh, function is a list a list of length five means it starts from zero goes on up till four zero one two three four so this is a list and this for loop will pick each element one at a time in the sequence because list preserves the sequence so one element at a time this is what we get so first it prints zero then it goes again then the i picks up the next value which is one and print i so one in this way we go on and we print up till four print all the items in the list along with their quantities now i want to i have a dictionary with me i want to print all the items along with their quantities how do i do that so this is how for key in a now when i iterate over a the it will give me all the keys so one by one so i will be reading all these keys and then a of key is the so you remember a carrot was some value so if i give key as the input to my a i get, get the value out and this is what it looks like milk one liter so whatever the values of a were there they are printed along with the key key space key, key dash the value that's what we get here then uh, so for loop if you remember in for loop you have to have you have to have uh, you have to know what is the total number of iterations you want let's say in this case the total number of iterations is the length of a but in this case uh, there are there can be cases when you do not know what is the total length or total number of iterations you need to do then you you just know a criterion okay when this criterion is satisfied then stop the loop then in those cases you use a while loop so so let's say list all the integers starting from zero such that their square the, their squares the, the sum of their squares is less than 20. so first you take zero so this zero square is zero sum is less than 20 then you take one one square is one one plus zero then sum is less than 20. you take two and two square is four four plus one plus zero the sum is uh, um, four plus one five and then you get three three three, three three is a nine nine plus four plus one fourteen sum is still less than twenty so in this case in this way you keep adding up sum of squares but whenever the condition is satisfied you stop the loop you do not know how many times it will be running but you just know what is the stopping criterion that's why we use the while loop 
So I, I make two, two variables. First variable is carrying the value 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. And the second variable is holding that sum of squares. It keeps adding whenever a new element comes. So when sum of squares is less than 20, while sum of squares is less than 20, you go on doing this loop. So what, ha what happens is first I print, so i is 0, and then I add 1 to i, and then I will increment my sum of squares by the new value i square. And if I run it, this is what I get. 0, 1, 2, 3. So my last entry is 3, which means after 3, the sum of squares will be more than 20. So 3 is my, so list all the integers starting from 0 such that the sum of their squares is less than 20. So sum of this is less than 20. So that is it. So this was a short uh, tutorial on the basic data types in Python. Uh, we, we looked at integers, strings, lists, and dictionaries, and then conditionals, if else statements, and loops, uh, for loop and while loop. Thank you very much.